Hey guys, it's Robin here. Thanks for joining me for your Sunday, November 20th uh, daily tarot card reading. I'm using the Steampunk Tarot. This is such a cool deck. <clears throat> it actually took me over a year to connect to this one. I think I've said that before, but I just want you guys to know that, you know, your feelings can turn around, your energy can change, and you can connect to things <clears throat> that you previously thought that there was just nothing there for you, okay? So, um, Steampunk Tarot, I did have a card pop out. Let's have a look at this. I love this card so much. Uh, I'm just going to show you in one second. This is the High Priestess, okay? So, the High Priestess, she uses her inner spiritual magic to be able to translate her desires into reality, and there's something so fascinating about this card, okay? Um, the High Priestess, she's actually shown, and I think this would freak out a lot of people because she's using divination tools, okay, that are not like really mainstream, okay? So you could have a temptation to get a tarot card reading for the first time or buy a tarot card deck for the first time or maybe go get some crystals or really just try to, to uh, like decorate your space in a, in a different way. Like you guys see how I've got decorations that are just completely meaningful to me. Um, and I, I don't... I mean, it's nice when people like it, but I don't really care if they do because it changes my energy. It feeds my energy. So with this high priestess, this could really open up your spiritual interpretations and the way that you view things as being powerful and connecting to things in a different way that maybe you were not able to last week, last month, or last year, right? So... This is going to be a bit of an eye opener for you guys, you know, so really pay attention. If you're out at a flea market or you're just shopping or maybe you're browsing online or you see somebody doing a tarot card reading or using runes or something like that to do a to do a reading. You go, oh, that, I could really benefit from that. So I wouldn't say no to something like that. You got to really pay attention to how your energy spikes up and how your interest peaks around stuff like that. And it could, you could blend it into your decor. You could blend it into your daily rituals, whatever that might be. You might start constructing an altar for the first time ever. I really think that having an altar in your home is something so beautiful. It's a, it's a place where you are express your spiritual, um, you know, connections. I just, it can be whatever. It doesn't have to be specific to any type of a religion or anything like that. So I really see you guys reaching out in a different way to express your spirituality today and maybe for the first time for some of you so this could be really interesting it's really amazing to see people awaken to a new level of oopsie doopsie I don't do reversals okay so, so this is really really fascinating okay so I have the wheel of fortune here and just the way that it's set up is just really, it's like all these different ways that you express yourself is going to help the wheel move forward, okay? You can believe in multiple things, you know, you can, you can go to church on Sunday and then come home and do a tarot card reading. It's okay, you know, you can express yourself in any way that you want to. Your presence here on earth is an actual representation of the universe experiencing life in a different form and that can be said of everything around you every single thing around you is energy and it's helping you to move forward okay so this is quite fascinating so you could have a missing piece of the puzzle here uh, when you pick up something that is outside of your current belief system Anyway, I, I think this is really fascinating and, you know, you can really keep on evolving as you mature in life, you know. Uh, I wanted to say get older in a very nice way, but you know what I mean? Uh, I've been reading tarot maybe four or five years now. I never ever thought that it would happen and then I was divinely spoken to by my grandmother on the other side of the veil and she's like, hey, I think you should go get a, a tarot card deck and I was like, okay, and then here we are. So anyway, 
we do have, and this is quite fascinating too, the way that this Three of Wands is set up because there's an illumination factor and I'm not talking about Illuminati or Columinati as um, Tupac would say. There is something meant to sort of light the highway of your life in a different way. So step outside your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be a divination tool. You know, I'm getting inspired here by my guides where they're saying it could just be a different type of fashion, you know, and just wearing things differently and expressing yourself in different ways. So it doesn't have to be a tarot card deck or crystals or whatever it is. There's a crystal ball in this card too, which I really love. Um, so, and this is going to light your path. It's just going to provide you so much strength. I've seen a lot of help for you guys from uh, the spirit world, you know, your angels and an ancestors. They're pointing you in different directions so that you as a fragment of the universe can enjoy your life to higher highs and deeper depths of feeling. So this is actually pretty cool. And if you guys are going and getting your first tarot card deck today, I really want you to let me know which deck you ended up getting um and if you need help maybe trying to figure you know which one would really work for you go ahead and comment and i'll respond to you or you can email me or message me on my facebook page i'm on twitter too so anyway guys i think this is really cool really step outside your comfort zone today and enjoy it okay take care